Hi, I'm Andrew, an entrepreneur and a computer science student. Hi, I'm Ravine, a psychology major student. And you're now listening to the Ink Thoughts podcast, where we ponder and talk about incongruous thoughts ranging from our daily life to the human mind. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Ink Thoughts podcast. So, yeah, I guess you have a lot to share this week. Andrew? Yeah, hello. Hi, everyone. I mean, it's been a long time. It's been two weeks since we last record, uh, we recorded our last episode. So it's been quite some time and, and many, many, many things have changed. I mean, uh, change as in like, <laughs> like in regards to my life. So yes, now I'm back in Malaysia. Oh, yay. But yeah, originally I thought this episode would actually be a, a physical episode because a funny thing is, I don't know how many episodes we have, we have recorded, but we have only been, um, we have only been recording offline for one episode, which is really funny because all this while we have been separated by various kinds of COVID measures, lockdowns. And then after that, um, what's that called? Uh, I, I, me traveling to UK. So yeah, many things, but now that I'm back, I, I actually came back to Malaysia to surprise Vereen during on on her birthday, and it was quite funny. And wow! I'm, I'm, come on, man! Like, like I mean, you you know about it. There's no need for that. <laughs> it's not like you're the first person com- com- commenting on 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 what actually happened. <laughs> but yeah, like I, uh, that happened. Um, I surprised her on the birthday, and then I came back for for multiple trips. Like it's kind of like a vacation, so I I flew I, fl- I flew back to Malaysia right after the border reopened. And yes, uh, what else? Uh? uh, but 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 the thing is that I actually got COVID during the tr- one of the trip where it's supposed to be a bucket list trip with together with my friend where we go to club and enjoy. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it was quite cool, but then we got COVID, uh, COVID towards the end of that trip. Which is okay, I guess. Like we kind of enjoyed everything, and yeah, just that I have to drove like overnight all the way back back home for quarantine, and then now I think I'm in my fifth year of quarantine. Speaking of which, I actually haven't, I actually haven't uh, submitted my, my 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 health report thing, for for day five. I think there's two right now. I'm gonna do it later. So yeah, I'm gonna do that later. I always forget about that. I mean, it's yeah, it's quite tiring to do that. But yes, um, yay, so now I'm recovering com- from COVID. I mean, at this stage, there's not much not much symptoms. It's more like just there's phlegm in my throat and then I'm coughing very little. And, and yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, to be honest, that's it. It's the, 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 the worst part about COVID in Malaysia. I mean, in UK, you don't, it's not legally required to, to quarantine anymore. But in Malaysia, you still have to quarantine for seven days. So... Yeah, still two more days to go. Oh, yay. <laughs> Waiting for it to get over. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess that's it from me. Yeah. What about you, Vereen? How was your week or or two weeks? Two, three weeks. I don't know. It's <laughs> been it's been a real long time. Yeah. Well, the beginning of last week, I mean, I mean, um, if we like reduce seven or eight days back, yeah, that was my birthday. Mm. It was a really cool one because I've never expected that you would come back. And that really surprised me. <laughs> I mean, the next day after you, I saw you, I was still very <laughs> surprised kind of feeling because mm, I still feel like it's not real. It's unbelievable that you're here. After some time, only I accepted that you're really here <laughs> back in Malaysia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then then okay, then I started work my working week. Well, it's been a hard week for me. There's a lot of things happen in my work and that kind of mm, affected me emotionally and I of course, yeah, who doesn't feel stressed in work, right? <laughs> Just that how how strong the level of stress is that. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, Varin has been doing a lot of uh, there's 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 this something called depression test, and then she's been doing it week over week. <laughs> I feel like she's trying to find a proof that the 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 work is actually making her a lot more depressed, which is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing though is that I know how to beat the test as long as you read three three for all category, and then you definitely be severe severely depressed. So she has, she she should have just done that. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> But what's the point of doing that? 
Ah, uh, then you don't have to work. You know that you're severely depressed. I mean that you won't have income as well. Uh. <laughs> that is even more depressing. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, then, but yo, know, I I'm taking two days off tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. So yeah, I hope that that helps me to get some. Relaxation and also recharge myself before I go back to work again. I mean, initially we're going on a trip. Yes, exactly. But now I, because I, someone got positive for COVID and now it's cancelled. <laughs> yeah, originally t- today we would be w- we would be on our trip to to Penang. I mean, yesterday we we're supposed to record a podcast and then someone got really really busy, so yeah, we couldn't record it. And then, uh, yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, many many things change now, so yeah, unfortunately. But soon, man, I guess I don't know now. I, at least I have more time working on my assignment. Supposedly, have more time working on my assignment, so I'm supposed to f- complete them, and then, yay, we can just head to the trip with no nothing in mind, like nothing at all in mind. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what are we going to talk about today? Um, okay, so today we are actually talking about um, work-life ba- balance, which is actually, is it a topic created by you? I think so. It is a, is it? Yes. The ideator is you, the host is you, and yeah, and you were the one <laughs> complaining that I did not have any insights and resources, even though we have those <laughs> sections in the Notion, we rarely use it. And yeah, I initially, I, I did, I, I did, I, I, I think I thought that you, you actually prepared something and then in the end, you didn't. You're just saying it because I didn't. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> so yes, I mean work life regarding just regarding work life for fun la. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, I mean work life balance. I guess you are more. I mean, it's it's kind of something that many people are looking looking for to right now because it's a it's a thing now. It's a very important thing. That like like for our for I think Gen Z right now people care care a lot about this but then I guess you're more relatable to this because you are working and then I'm not I'm, I'm I'm not yet soon I guess soon I'll be entering the workplace but at 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 this stage I'm still not so yes anything you that you would like to talk about work life balance okay well um <clears throat> I remember I I remember I was very supportive towards this idea when I was in my year three of degree because that time I had a human resource um, module and that really makes me think that yeah that that is a must for everyone but then when I entered the uh, work yeah uh, I realized actually <laughs> okay depending on what you do at least in my organization most of them don't really have it mm-hmm. Yeah, and I can really see that um, it's affecting everyone's mental health. But nowadays, people are trying to um, take care of the their own well being. So um, I realized that from the few um colleagues that I'm more closer with, <laughs> so we actually take leave to <laughs> get ourselves relaxed and <laughs> recharge before we are back to work again. Mm. We don't really have a very have a very important thing to do on that day. We just want a day off because mm. yeah, to work is really too much and it's affecting us mentally as well. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's quite funny that 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 you learn that through human resource class. I mean, it's true. It's supposed to be a human resource thing, but then, but then to be honest, I think human resource does more things on like like firing and hiring people and then making sure that people don't exploit on the company money instead of doing things that actually uh, that actually help help all those employees and stuff don't you think so like so yeah they, they, it's it's more like i mean they are working for the boss so instead of working for the for the for the employees they are more like working for a boss so it's quite funny that oh you learn you learn this through human resource class but then when i guess i guess i don't know i'm i'm just making an assumption but let's say if you work in human resource you'll probably be like oh look at look at this guys how uh, how, how many leave is is he taking instead of like thinking like oh you should, this guy should probably take more leave because he's he hasn't been taking taking any leave something like that yeah that 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 well, that's that's a part I I I find I find it funny. 
Is it true? Do you think so? <laughs> I think in the workplace, it kind of works this way. Okay. Mm. Like like HR, well, I... H, HR is, 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 is the people that you're trying to fight for leave. Like, I'm going to take a leave and then they, they, they disagree with your leave and then you'll be like, why can't I take a leave? You're HR. You, you're supposed to care for our well-being and all that. Like, no, because the boss says you can't take, take leave so frequently something like that. <laughs> Oh uh, well, I I'll agree to what you say, <laughs> but um, if let's say it's a it's a mm. company culture that the boss um take I mean the boss is the boss think that um the mental well being of the of the colleague uh, of of the employees are important, mm-hmm. then it's different because um if that this the kind of company they are working in, um, yeah. the boss will usually give HR some power over doing some. Um, kind of activities or some <laughs> policy that will help the employees as well. It's a like kind of like balance, but I won't disagree that of course <laughs> that's a huge part that they are working for the boss instead of the employees. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, that's true. That's a thing I'm thinking. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but regarding work life balance, I don't know, man. But I, I, I mean, from 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 what I heard, at least for in the UK, it's 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 quite cool that I think in the UK they do care about this a lot, and and at least from w- w- the one company which my 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 friend work in, and then listening from from his experience with the HR, it seems like the HR over there is different, and then that HR is actually ac- <laughs> is actually list uh trying to help the the employees instead of not that they are trying to sign side with employees are probably the company is just generally good where they actually take care about the well-being and then the benefits of the employee so 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 the 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 hr is actually letting the employee know that oh you know you can do this with with the allowance you have like they have some kind of well-being allowance something like that money where where the money has Mm -hmm. to be spent on healthy stuff like sports recreational something like that hobbies and all that yeah which is which is really interesting something like that but yeah, I don't know, man. Like uh, work life balance, definitely, I I do care a lot about that. But um, I think like in 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 many many episodes earlier, I'm I'm those kind of person that that kind of that kind of fight for um fight for my own way on on doing stuff. As in like I would I would like that rather work spend I I would just work for a minimum amount of effort for the company instead of like. Like trying to trying to throw all my life into it, just because I don't think it's worth it, unless unless I know that that's something that's gonna really impact my life a lot, then I'm gonna throw throw my my full life into that. So yeah, I'm definitely all into to work life balance. I would, but I I don't know, man. But for me, it's it's funny because now now I'm, I'm at a stage where. My work life balance isn't work life balance. It, it's more like work work balance because what I'm trying to do, at least my <laughs> ideal thing of uh, my ideal thought is that I wanna I, I'll have a actual job and then once I'm I'm gonna have I'm gonna balance my time between my actual job and then my side hustle, which currently is YouTube and like this all this podcasting. So it's kind of funny. It's not really healthy, I guess, in a way. I don't know. I'm trying to balance between that, but I don't know. I guess eventually, I hope that it will be work-life balance soon. But overall, I guess in in UK, that the the the, the beautiful thing about UK is that I see uh, work-life balance actually a thing where they care about not just um, not just like people saying about it. They actually do stuff about it, and then like after work hours your boss actually don't contact you your 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 colleague don't like will, will, your colleague will probably contact you but then like just for for recreational matters like activities and all that instead of like talking about work stuff like oh you know where's that doc- where's that document where, where where you gave me this afternoon i kind of find it now i i think they are not supposed to talk to you about all that stuff which is you know really cool and i I hope to experience that soon when I actually enter the the UK workforce. Cool thing. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I think that um. At least in Malaysia, I I think there's a lot of company that they are they are not really um, looking to like work 
work life balance kind of they are, idea. They are all Asians. They are exploiting yeah. the workforce. They they think that yeah. you must work and work. <laughs> yeah, and and I I actually think that um, work life balance is a kind of like long term thing. If your employees are satisfied with your with everything of your company, of course they can work harder and work more. Pr- more productively to so at the end of the day the outcome will be better instead of you just forcing them to work super long hours but um yeah after one year they cannot take it anymore then they say goodbye to your company and you need to hire someone again train someone again and you know the cycle keeps going on Hmm. i mean i guess yeah that that is true but then i i i think it's 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 not just uh it's it's more of a culture thing probably like i i guess in in like even in silicon valley like they have this thing called the hustle Ooh. culture you know you gotta you gotta work all night work work six days you know just try to do something out because you know once it that that like like like, like the thing about false productivity you know you just gotta make let people mm. see that oh, you're working and all that uh and 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 i guess this is just a very very normal thing in 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 asia because i don't know i guess we are more I mean, whatever we are doing now is something that 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 the Europe and the Americans have been have experienced like many many uh, decades or centuries ago. So they have went through this, and and now we are just going through that cycle. That's why probably now now everyone like, oh we gotta work hard something like that. Yeah, no, like hard work pays off. It's 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 all about working hard and self working smart. Like even my friend will always say that you know, uh, like uh. If if you work hard one day you get your 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 effort will get paid off, but then I don't necessarily agree with that, something like that. So it's I guess it's generally just a process. So like once 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 we have we've been through this, it eventually we'll go to like the the we'll go to like what, what the Europeans and, and Americans are doing now. So it's like more like it, it it's it, life is not just about not just about whatever we work it's also about the the life that that we live something like that yeah mm, yeah true um and this just reminded me of uh, one of my friend's um, mm-hmm. story so okay he just uh ended his internship and well he was working for three months for the law okay he studied law and he was working in a law firm mm-hmm. and i've never thought of this until he told told us about it Mm -hmm. so actually he said um in those law firm cultures Uh uh, the employees can't leave until the boss leave i mean okay i know um that's kind of culture in this kind of culture in japan but i've never thought that it happened in malaysia oh okay okay i get it i get it yeah and then my yeah then my friend shared that you know, every day the boss came in. <laughs> in the morning, um, they have all those calls to do, which is not, which doesn't really sound important. <laughs> yeah, but towards the end of the day, maybe um one or two hours before uh the official uh working hours ended, then they suddenly have all those important documents to prepare and all. Then mm. yeah, then they they will ask the employee to, oh um please uh do this. Uh, by the by today and something something. <laughs> then my friend, I I think he got a bit pissed. Like mm. you know, you have whole day, but why are you doing this at the end of the day, right? Okay, okay, then, yeah. Because of this kind of culture, I can't leave before you leave. Mm. That is interesting. Yeah. Yeah, and and I, I don't like. Uh, people enforcing the idea like um, because I can work hard why not you I mean mm. okay if you don't don't want work-life balance you want to work extra hours well that's your choice but you can't force people to do the same as you mm. yeah. yeah you the the company is just paying you let's say for eight hours of work why why can't I leave after the eight hours mm. Yeah, if I want to do extra, that's my choice. But if I don't want, why I have to do the same like what you are doing? It's not fair and I didn't choose that as well. You can't mm. just say, because I can, then you must do that also. 
Yeah, I mean that. I guess that is just a traditional mindset, lah. But I mean, yeah, that's 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 how how they think. They think like I mean, I mean like like I think even yeah, I think that day while while I was on my trip, I was on 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 the way, on the way to the resort. We were talking about this as well. I think if I'm not mistaken, but like like all those, cause like so my my friends, my friends that. It's like I think approaching. Uh, I think it's fifties, probably approaching uh, his sixties, and then uh, so so they they are all talking about like like all the all the all the younger people nowadays. You know they can't really they they can't really work hard. They 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 actually they 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 care a lot about like you know and uh, having a proper proper livable work hours like nine to five something like that. Uh, and then they can't work work too too much. They can't, they 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 don't want to work a lot, something like that. And then they want reasonable pay and all that. I mean, maybe maybe there's there's a certain limit where it goes too far, where 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 they kind of request too far. But I guess, yeah. I mean, the society is shifting la, Like, um, and then I guess it's it's at this point in life that we we kind of especially after. After the 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 COVID the the COVID pandemic, there's this there's this uh great resonate uh resignation wave where people just resign from their company because they find find more fulfilling things in our life. Like even including me, I I wouldn't I I wouldn't disagree that I'm actually I I I I I'm still searching for something that more fulfilling to work in instead of just trying to find a job. You know, just stuff my head in a job which I don't like just for the money, like mm. my money money just just doesn't make make that much that much sense when you don't really enjoy something. So, yeah, um, I guess, yeah, like the, there's definitely a a culture gap, a, a age gap, the bit uh, for mindset and whatever as well. So. Yeah, definitely that is wrong, but not not wrong per se lah. But then that that way of thinking doesn't work for the newer generation lah because we have we have to accept that. I mean, I guess the the better way to say is that we have to be more inclusive, where we need to accept that people have their own thoughts and. And when we when we actually when we actually get a job, we are not selling our individual selves to you. We're not like a slave. We're actually we're literally just selling the hours, and that is more appropriate. Um, yeah, that we are just like selling that few hours, and even like more newer, more newer companies will accept that it's they are you are not actually selling the hours, but instead you are just selling the result that you're 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 providing. So whatever whatever outcome that you have produced to them, so. Not necessary the hours anymore. Like I think that's that's this shift, that's this shift in the in the in the society and that's this mindset lah. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. Uh, when you talk about that, I actually thought of one thing. Uh, during the human resource management module, uh, mm-hmm. I think one of the lectures, um, doc, uh, the lecturer actually discussed with us like if let's say in the big. A big company, and then you have different, at least three different generations. How would mm. you um, accommodate everyone's satisfaction as a HR? Mm. I would yeah. hire three different HR manager of different age. Yay! Def- amazing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually don't know. But yeah, like like how 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 would you actually do that? It's quite an interesting topic. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think there there are. Um, some kind of like um incentive or reward system where they will provide one long list of mm-hmm. what they can offer. Then you choose, let's say, um, ten out of fifteen or yeah, this kind of idea. So everyone can, as as an individual, you can choose different reward that that you think is um, that that is helping you in terms of uh having a work life balance, so that they don't force you like. Like let's say for the older generation, they prefer working, um, on the fixed fixed hours. Then yeah, they do that. But the younger generation, they can choose to be more flexible. But maybe they they can't get certain benefit as, uh, what the older generation get. But yeah, maybe that's not important for the younger generation also lah. So they can choose out of one long list, which I think is actually quite interesting. But of course, it is is very, uh, 
costly and those um, smaller to medium company they usually can't provide that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That is true. Yeah. Okay, I get. It. Yeah, but I think that 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 idea is like actually very interesting, and uh, I think quite some huge company are actually practicing it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, do you do you, do you, do you, do you have any examples like like which company do you happen to know them? Uh, I'm not sure if I remember it correctly, but I think maybe Google they are doing something. Oh, really? Like okay. I mean, Google is a huge like. Google Google yeah. scale is is like the scale of a company. Ah, uh, not not a company, a country. So definitely, they can yeah. do this. Okay, that's quite amazing. Yeah, quite amazing. Yeah, and then um, when it comes to like the younger generation, okay, of course, I I believe in different generation. There are people that they're just lazier and they don't <laughs> want to work hard. Or yeah, yeah, right. But it's not fair to generalize to all the younger generation just that just because they have different kind of ideas towards this. If yeah, um, there's a kind of like agreement between the employer and the employees that okay, you you as long as you provide me the deliverables, um, you can you can get whatever you are asking for. Then that's not a problem anymore. Mm. You can't. You can't just enforce whatever idea that you, as the older generation, into them. <laughs> That's just not a very effective way. Yeah. You just create more conflict, and yeah. Yeah. That's at the end I... of the day, the outcome is not what you want. Also. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. That. That's why I guess. I guess that's that's the one main thing that lacks that that. That lacks in 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 Asian country because I guess we in Asia it's more about the 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 collect uh, the collective wisdom instead of more in, in instead of in in individualistic uh, wisdom so people more care more about like like how everyone else everyone else thinks so it they they, they kind of care about a, a agreed upon agreed upon structure like where the majority thing is this then it should be this. But whereas in, in in Western culture, it's more more about like um individualist individualistic uh wisdom. So everyone can have different thoughts, and then in in Western culture, people just have to they have to be a lot more inclusive because we just have to accept there are many many kind of different people. Like including now now there's uh LGBTQ plus I think and so that's why they can accept a lot more ideologies a lot more uh mindset and all this but then in asia we just haven't reached that stage yet because i i i believe it's because probably because of our collectivism culture is like oh majority thing of this so yeah you got to conform to this instead of like people can think this way and then we should just respect that as it, like when compared to like western culture i think yeah yeah true and sometimes mm. um <laughs> Yeah, because there's still age gap and generation gap between us and our parents and mm-hmm. some of the parents, I won't say all, but some of the parents, they just can't um, accept what the children <laughs> are doing. Well, you, you you can just give them one chance to for them to explain to you what they are doing and mm-hmm. see how they can convince you. But even, I mean, before they even listen to them, they, they're already judging them and say, no, you won't success or anything. Like well, <laughs> you are just like killing peop- uh, the younger generation creativity, innovation, innovation, and all. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. That's why. So, yeah, I can. Ho- I I hope to grow up to become a parents that that wouldn't have that limitation in my mindset, whereby I will just accept more of my ch- my children's imagination and and thought and all that. It, which is not an easy thing, but I'm um. I hope I can I can work towards towards that goal. <laughs> Mm-mm. Okay. Um. Okay. I have one question for both of us. So, mm, mm-hmm. what is the ideal work life balance that you are looking forward to? Uh, work life balance. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let me think. I mean, I I I kind of have something like this before. I I I bl- I definitely have thought of it. But, um, I don't know. I guess it's more like. Uh, I guess I I I I I hope that one day, whatever work that I'll be doing is just something I like because I I kind of I I believe I've told you told you about this framework I believe, um, 
as long as we work on something we like for a long enough time, it can definitely generate enough income from it. Because mm-hmm. I mean, it's something we like. We 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 would we would put in a lot a lot of effort into it, and then at one point, people will find it valuable, and will pay us for it. So, I guess I I I I hope to just do that. You know, just to mm-hmm. be able to to find to to do something I like at one to the stage where it actually earns money. So that will be my work part and. Um, but if you talk about how how I balance between it, um, there's no particular balance uh, because the 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 great thing if the 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 good thing about this is that uh, if it's fun, then it it's actually not work for you anymore. So you're probably enjoying it mm-hmm. every moment when you're working on it. But of course, the the balance will need to come to 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 sp- to give time to other people like my family and my friends and all that so that is the only physical balance that i need to strike just so that i i I give time for other people but other than that i wouldn't need a actual balance just just so that i will i will be balancing between my work and my life personally because if i truly enjoy it that work will pro- uh, will probably be as, as enjoyable as my life as well. I think, yeah. Mm, okay. What mm. if um yeah you know the work is what you enjoy, but there's mm-hmm. certain elements that you you just don't truly really oh. enjoy that much. I mean, I mean that's a very simple thing. Like uh, hopefully, I mean, like uh, you outsource. I, uh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I I will literally just outsource that because uh, just I mean just. That's everything. That that definitely definitely parts where you dislike it, and then you can just outsource it. But the 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 the, the greatest challenge would be the money. Like hopefully, I would have the money. Like mm. just like this podcast and and my YouTube. I'm at the stage where I'm now now doing it on my own, so I have to handle all the parts which I dislike as well. But if I do reach the part where I have the money, yeah, I'll just I'll just outsource it, and then and then I'll I'll probably have fun. I'll just do the parts where I actually find find fun doing it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I I actually quite like the idea that um, you know finding something that you really enjoy. Well, mm-hmm. not everyone can find it so easily because they they are just maybe mm, haven't encountered something that they really enjoy. Yep, yep. Um, I mean, even, least, even 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 yeah. me myself, I haven't actually, I haven't actually explored that stage yet. So yeah, I'm, I'm still looking forward to 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 exploring it. <laughs> Yeah, this reminds me of one of my friends mm-hmm. um, that uh, he's actually, I, I won't say that he's not hardworking. I know he wants to earn money, but he just haven't really found something that he really want to do. And I think that is quite difficult for him because um, if you haven't had the chance to try things out, you it's even harder for you to find something that you like. Mm. Well, sometimes it's not like a very direct thing that you'll find something that you like. Maybe you find something that you don't like and you rule things out. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. works also. Yeah. That's true. That is absolutely yeah. true. Yeah, well for me, um okay, uh I think I'll prefer having several hours of me time in a day. Like I really oh. really find that um for for example, uh uh, on the weekdays where I where I went to where I, where I go to area yoga class, it's actually just an hour thing, but mm-hmm. that actually makes me feel a lot better. Like I'm for for the next day when I'm start restarting my work again, that really makes me feel refreshed. That mm-hmm. I'm okay to do things again. Yeah, to okay, those okay. The, those things that I already know it's difficult. Yeah, yeah. I I I mean I don't really need. Uh, a lot of time but just a few hours in a day for me to like relax and do something that I really want to do and forget just forget everything like yeah during that <laughs> few hours that really mm. makes me feel a lot better yeah mm, okay okay I get it yeah I can I can understand that that's cool that's cool that's great mm. Mm. okay um is there anything else that you'd like to add on to this topic? I don't think so. I I guess that 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 that, that pretty much sums up. I I mean, but but the main thing is that I guess 
because at this stage I don't really have much experience on this as in I I haven't gotten an actual job so I can't really comment much on this but yeah hopefully soon I mean uh, within a year's time I I, 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 I I can I can contribute more onto this topic but yeah like but whatever I've said today is whatever I have in mind <laughs> for all regarding to <laughs> oh, this wait. topic wait yeah what, what, what happened actually you, you can share something I mean you as an employee uh, not um, okay lah you as a business owner last mm-hmm. time oh. how do you do work life balance oh uh, how do I do work life balance actually that's 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 a very that's a very good question um I mean back then yeah it, it, it is truly important because um the great thing about being a business owner as a especially as an SME is that you can easily usually you can easily because you're unlike a employee your your income can be variable so if you if you have if you if you work more today or like for this week you can you can possibly see your your income increasing in the coming uh, uh in the coming weeks because of the the work that you have put in so there's there's actually actual actual encouragement into pushing pushing you to get more more money in but the thing is sometimes you you realize that oh you you just can't keep doing this because of course you as a human you have limited energy mm-hmm. and and attention and all that so i guess it was initial when i just started i just kept on working and i i don't really have a schedule because i'm the business owner i set everything so you really have to find out your own schedule how to how how does thing best works for you and then only until a point where you you uh, you realize you, you 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 kind of find out how uh, which way works best for you and then you have to find figure out how how much time to rest something like that and i guess the great relief really come when i when i hired my first employee which is which really changed everything yeah so um but yeah work life balance uh for me back then i i actually only had one day of holiday so i only i instead of resting on the weekends i only rest on friday and others day i'll be working but i mean as a business owner if you really really want to rest any day you can kind of do that <laughs> uh which is which yeah. is kind 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 of cool thing uh but but i guess eventually the most important thing for business owner is that you have to learn way learn ways to be able to unplug yourself from the business and that's what makes the business more valuable and then it it kind of frees you from the business because if you don't learn to do that it will mean that your the most valuable thing about your business is just you if you're no longer there you won't be earning money and then you won't you you and then that means that you can't really you can't really actually rest as well so yeah that's what what I realized. The most important thing is that I have to make sure that my my business runs itself instead of depending on me, something like that. But yeah, that is kind of work life balance. I do have to. I mean, the good thing is that you can earn a lot of money if you just keep working. But then you know that that doesn't work, so you kind of have you still have to find a balance eventually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, is, is there any point um uh, in in that journey that you find? Uh, because you only rest for one day, then mm-hmm. one of the day you just feel, oh my god, I'm just so tired. I I can't do it. I want to take a day off. Okay, I mean definitely from time to time you feel that. From time to time I feel that. But I mean the money is a future motivate motivating factor. Because <laughs> like I'm I'm I'm, mm-hmm. I'm I'm literally earning uh earning quite a reasonable income and then a lot more than my mm-hmm. than my peers of the same age as well. So. Yeah, uh, yeah true. but I I mean the the one day thing is okay for me la, I guess it's quite mm. okay for me la. yeah may, maybe maybe if I worked longer because eventually I sold my company but if I worked longer maybe I will I would I would need more but um I guess it was okay for me it was okay for me I it was it was it was both things that it was both fulfilling and then there was the money as well so there was like intrinsic motivation and extrinsic motivation as well Mm, yeah mm, mm. yeah something like that so yeah i felt that 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 was sustainable for me at at that stage yeah 
Yeah, now now that I relate everything that you've said, mm. uh, I this actually reminded me that uh of the time that you were doing intern at Go Car. Hmm. Mm. Uh, you re- do you remember that you came up with the business idea, uh, at certain point of your internship? Then, yeah. uh, after work you work damn hard on the project, and then, and then the next day you wake up. Okay, you sleep later than me, but you wake up earlier than me, and you you even went for workout before you go to work. Then after after your work, you come back and continue with your business idea and all. Yeah, I yeah. don't know how you do that, but but you don't look tired. I mean, I guess uh, that that's why when, when, that's why I care care so much about doing something you actually like yeah. because. That's I guess that's 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 the power between it. So uh, the the power behind it. So if if it's something that you actually really like, you will just have this internal motivation to do it, Mm-mm. and yeah, you wouldn't need other and extrinsic uh, motivation for it. So yeah, that's why that's why I I that's why and today I am like kind of finding the the thing that I actually like, and then you just you just do it do it without reason, and then so it will. If if you you really find that that thing that you love, you just keep doing it, even though if there's no income, you wouldn't you wouldn't find it too hard. And then after it had it has income and all that, it will still push you. You still you still push yourself to do it, not for the income and all that. So that's why I guess today I I care a lot about what you actually like and what you actually enjoy. That I guess that is the main main thing that we need to care about. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, true. Um, okay. Um, then, uh, if you don't have anything to add on, then I guess we can wrap up here. Yeah, I guess. Uh, that'll be end. That'll be the end then. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Any conclusion that you want to make before we proceed with the next section? I have no idea. I mean, like, like work life balance. Like, um, I don't know. I mean, I guess for me, work life balance. Um. Um. Uh, work-life balance. I mean, everyone has has their own way of do on of on handling work-life balance. But I guess the most important thing comes down to how um, it it's 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 more important on the life that you want to live. So, yeah, it's no long at this stage. It's no longer about the money, or the or the social status or whatever. It's more about the life that you actually want. So, just it's it's more important to define define work life balance around that because some people can 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 live with a very simple life where where a a a, a two thousand a two thousand pound salary would be sufficient, or some people can. Can just just really want to live live a life around a one thousand pound salary. So it kind of just depends on how you want to do that. So yeah, I guess we should now now when we talk about work life balance, even though it sounds a bit selfish, especially to employers, I guess it's more important to 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 look at our life first before we look at the work. So we will only we'll first decide on our life, then we decide on on what what work that we actually want to do and all that. So that is what. At least for today, at least for now, that's this this point in time. That is how I would define my work life balance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, for me, um, yeah, I I totally agree on what you say. Well, like at the end of the day, you're you are just you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you are not yeah. connected to your employers at all, mm-hmm. unless yeah, there's something else. Okay, that is that cannot be counted in this. Uh, situation uh. Uh, mm. and also um, I believe well there are some factors that we can't avoid that we need of, need to make some money for a living but always remember that um, your health and mental health matters and yeah anyway you still need to take care take good care of your own mental well-being and also your your health uh, um, before you can continue making enough money to sustain your life or your family's life yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, then I guess that's that's all about this topic. So let's move on to insight. Do you have any insight this week, Andrew? I I I I I don't have one directly in my mind, but yeah, I guess yeah, I don't really have one. 
just right in my mind for me to fetch it. Yeah, so I'll say no. Mm-mm. Okay, well, for me, I don't have as well. Okay, <laughs> then um, I guess that's the end of this episode of podcast. Um, thank you everyone for listening. Um, if you have any feedback or any suggestion, feel free to drop us a message on any platform that you prefer. Or emailing us is fine as well. And yeah, um, uh, we'll see you all next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of the podcast. If you enjoyed, do share with your friends and family and leave us a review on the Apple Podcast. If you are not using an Apple device, you can leave a review on the Apple Podcast website with the link in the show notes. If you have any feedback or thoughts which you hope that we'll discuss in the future, feel free to email them to us at hello at ingthoughts.com or alternatively, you can send us a private message on our Facebook, Instagram or Twitter with the username of ingthoughtspop. Thanks again and see you all next week. Bye-bye.